awesome. It still works. No, it definitely wasn't my fault that time. Happy birthday, little sis. I'm glad you came. Come in. Smile, Layla. Where'd you find this old stuff? Hey, this camera costs 400 bucks. And it has a fancy zoom. Can I talk to you for a minute? I need to tell you something. It's really important. Yeah, of course. Are you sure that it's a good idea to go there? You're such a baby. What kind of question is that? Of course it is. It'd be a crime to miss an opportunity to advance in the service like this. You understand everything? Uh-huh. Water the bird, feed the flowers, and pick up the document box. I see. Thanks. Let me know if she does show up. You're journalists, damn it. As our reporters report, the city is being fired on again. And about the firing on another city, which yes, is now yes, under control. We heard you go Despite on. Despite the incessant air alert, no military equipment has been noticed by either side at the moment. Moreover, the other side reports the loss of one Black Hawk. The connection with the crew of which was lost the day before, around 9 o'clock in the evening. I remind you that our special correspondent, who was sent to the scene of the events, as well as her cameraman, disappeared around the same time. Their search continues. At the moment, we have eyewitness accounts. What can you tell us? Did you see what happened? Well, how to say it, that was a hell of a bang. It wrecked my car. And I haven't closed the loan on it yet. I saw the helicopter. It fell. I think it was what that exploded. My dog got concussed, and my neighbor. And tell me, do you know that they say on the internet that something not quite normal is happening here, and not for the first time? Are you serious? There's so much nonsense being written on the internet. It's all nonsense. There's a war going on, people are dying, and someone decided to... At the moment, we have eyewitness accounts. What can you tell us? Did you see what happened? What? I saw what happened? What happened? No, I mean, yes, but I don't remember. Something happened, but I don't remember. I don't remember anything at all. I'm sorry. I sorry, ma'am. You need to... No!
Holy sh- Are we shooting? <laughs> cool. Hello, this is INN, and I am Layla Smith, Special Correspondent. We are currently located not too far from the city, where hostilities have again resumed literally just a few hours ago. And let me remind you that the parties had signed a truce two days ago. Our channel's original task was to cover activities regarding the conclusion of the peace treaty and its conditions. Early this morning, however, in the sky above it, an object was spotted, which is assumed to be a Black Hawk. The crew on board gave no response, and this was taken as a direct violation of the armistice, and therefore the air defense system, to return fire. It is still unclear what will likely follow due to conflicting reports. And thus, what on earth? Harry, you, you can also see that? It's as if... Yes, sir. At the moment, all manifestations of the anomaly have been suppressed. Once our guys finish up their work here, it'll all look like just another ordinary military incident here. A cover for the media is already underway. Dean! Dennis! What is this? I don't really know, sir. Have you examined others yet? Have you seen anything similar? Damn it, go cover it up with something. It's pretty bright. Yes, sir. In connection with the latest set of unpleasant events, leadership would like to strengthen control over the situation. This morning, the project was moved to high priority, and now everyone in this room has been assigned to AI-366. In the near future, you will receive further detailed instructions and orders via mail. For those who are attending the meeting for the first time today, Three months ago, thanks to an incident involving civilians in this sector, gravitational temporal anomalies were discovered. In the beginning, our groups had recorded relatively harmless ones, such as the classic mysterious symbols or movement of objects over short distances. However, the air defense system got activated over in this sector of the country, mistaking the anomaly for an attack from the neighboring people. The war was inevitable, but overall it was nothing but good for us. Based on the results from the experiments, Dr. Bob's group managed to create a CUB, conversion utterance blocker, thanks to which it was possible to stabilize the manifestations of the anomalies, study them, and if necessary, neutralize them as well. The only problem is that there are only four CUBs, and the neutralization procedure requires continuous operation of the device. Ma'am, I'm sorry, has it already been established what exactly this light is? At the moment, the team of scientists suggests that this glow accompanies the opening of a space-time rift or portal, although to where it leads or where it's from, no one knows. AI-366 opened up in a rather unfortunate location, around a bunch of civilians, the media, and the military. We did not know what to expect and immediately activated the CUB. Whatever plan to climb out of there, it did not have time. However, your department ought to hurry up and figure out how to seal this thing shut for good. The equipment has detected surges of some strange energy throughout the sector, but the CUB has been successful at suppressing it for now. Only God knows where and when a new rift will open. Okay, thank you. Let's return to the girl now. The preliminary results have arrived. In short, analysis and psychological tests of Layla Isabella Smith did not reveal any kind of special properties or abilities in her. There is no sense in conducting an interrogation, as it seems that this girl really doesn't know anything. The nature of light has not yet been established, although 21 days have passed since the incident and the numbers have changed accordingly. In theory, this could signify a countdown, but to what exactly? Before the opening of a new portal, before the invasion of a hostile alien race, 
days before the end of the world? Your task is to study and prevent this nonsense before it comes to pass. Any questions? No? All right. Back to your jobs then. Quickly, let's not make management nervous. What you've learned about people. What are you going on about? What's going on here? Approach the intersection of 7th and Embankment. Take a pocket knife with you and wear gloves. Are you using a voice synthesizer? Stay in the shadows and try not to be seen by anyone. And remember the curfew. At 2109, a truck will stop at this intersection. Get into the truck bed. This is our only opportunity to ensure you successfully penetrate the site. So be quiet and move strictly on my commands. Have we stopped? I'll say it again, only on my command. Get out now. Over to the left. To the fence. Then to the right along the row. Count the tents. We need the ninth one. Seven, eight, nine. Take out your knife and wait for my signal. I won't hurt anyone. You won't have to. You need a key card which the trainee will forget on the table in front of you in just a minute here. How are you doing that? I don't do anything. I only select the series of accidents that will lead you to the outcome we need, and then guide you. 
A series of accidents, huh? Reminds me of the movie Edge of Tomorrow. I don't have to experience all the possibilities myself. I just see them. Huh. Well then, Doctor Strange. Now, use the knife to make a hole in the tense fabric. About three feet up from the ground, and one and a half feet from the right edge. Reach in with your hand. Bingo. Now, do everything very quickly. Go around the tent on the left and without looking back, go to the truck in the central part of the site. This is the Foundation's mobile lab. Use the keycard. Find the device inside. All you have to do is turn it off. What the hell? Remove the lid and flip the switch. Hey! No civilian entry allowed! Hurry up! Oh, my word! What the? No, oh, damn. Quantum transfer is too much for you, isn't it? No, no, man. Don't you dare die. In the name of all that is holy, what weak beings. Pronounced extra systoles. But there wasn't any mention in the medical history regarding conditions in the heart. Ugh. You're not planning on dropping here from a heart attack now, are you? Hold on, detective. I need you. Ah! It seems... The body is better. I see. So after teleportation, one has to be immersed in cold water immediately. Ah! Ah! Oh, my head's hurting. I can't. Oh, why can't I control my body? Ah! What's that voice? Help! It hurts so much! Shut up for now, human. I'm trying to think. So what have we got? Fanatical Foundation freaks wanting to keep me on one side, and a half-dead resisting detective on the other. I didn't necessarily need him, but there isn't any other way. At least this body can hold out for a while until I find- Ah, my head! What are those voices? Stop! My presence is traumatizing his mind. If I'm too active, the sky will either go crazy or die. We need to somehow separate our consciousnesses and modify his memory in order to keep his mind intact. This part of the cup. It's made with that strange material. It seems to be blocking my energy. We'll see. Listen carefully, guy. You're only alive because I have no other choice. And now you only have one goal. To find your sister. No matter what it costs. In a moment of danger, I'll save you. But you won't remember anything, of course. Your pitiful human brains are not with able to withstand my presence. People disgust me. Nothingness. It would be better if there was a void in this part of the universe. A huge, quiet void. Just like where I came from. Detective Void, I'll be watching you. And now, go to sleep. I'll see you later. Ah! 
Hello. <coughs> oh, man. Oh, this is a surprise, of course, hermano. Glad you're safe and, uh, and, and almost well. Knowing this, I won't ask you how you knew I was here. But, uh, hell, if you don't tell me where you've been for the last couple of months, I'll get up and leave right now. People don't disappear without a trace, Moki. There's always a trail, a lead. It's not hard to accidentally get caught under a surveillance camera or take a selfie of someone. It's hard to make sure there's nothing left. Hell, according to official information, Layla hasn't even left the country. And her employer claims that they haven't had any employee by that name for half a year. I had doubts even then. But after you got me the cut pieces of the original report, I've been looking for so long. I've gone so far. In short, this is them, Moki. They took Layla away. Here's another secret and oh-so-powerful organization. The SCP Foundation collects and contains anomalies of varying degrees of danger, from talking jelly to ancient gods. If desired, they can destroy not just a planet, but the entire galaxy. I... I dread to think why they took her away and what they're going to do to her. I couldn't find practically anything about my sister on their web, so I had to travel somewhere and they helped me get it. What's the object class? Objects are anomalies. When they're registered, they're assigned a number and a hazard class. Uh-huh. But what's that? I guess they haven't figured that out yet either. Did you try to contact them? Yes! After some time, I was able to get contacts and contacted them, but they ignored me. I offered to help. I said I'd do anything to help, of course. I'm not a scientist, but you know how I work. Not a single unsolved case in ten years, including those with anomalies. At first, I begged them to at least let me know that everything was alright with her, but in parallel, I continued to dig under them. Hell, they say they went to save humanity, but they themselves expend thousands of people for their experiments. I dug up just such a thing about their entire office. My hair almost turned gray. There are ten terabytes of data here. Last names, first names, dossiers of objects, maps of some zones, reports. How did you get it? Look, look at it on your free time. What experiments they're doing, I've looked and can't wait any longer. I'll get her out, Moki. They'll want to contact me soon. Simon! What are you thinking? Blackmailing them at this? Although, wait. I don't want to know how you did it, because I don't want to be killed along with you by some tough guys in black. Okay. What needs to be done? Uh, creation of a protected archive. Yeah, the impossibility of blocking or deleting. Mm, yeah, server room in Antarctica. And, uh, and a YouTube channel? Not everyone will like the bitter truth. <laughs> People won't believe you. And even if they did, didn't you think you'd only make it worse? Do you really want to declare to the whole world that bloodthirsty gods, monsters, and ghosts exist practically right at people's sides, and can break out into the world at any moment if a super-secret organization fails, or just suddenly wants to arrange an apocalypse? Who said that I would be engaged in the enlightenment of the masses? This information, first of all, should reach those who have the foundation in their throats. I'm not going to fight alone, but I will not join either side. I'll only be a catalyst for a showdown. If the Foundation will fight on several fronts at once, it'll only play into my hands. Let them give Layla. As soon as she returns, I publish the remains of the archives in the public domain, and we disappear as if we're not there. Then let them figure it out and do what they want with it. I don't care. Hermano, listen. You've really changed a lot. This is if a completely different person. Such radical determination. I don't even know whether I'm delighted or horrified. Hell of a plan, Hermano. Wouldn't it be better... Um... <sighs> Hey, hey, what's wrong with your face? Hey, are you wearing a mask? How did I not know this? I'll get her at all costs. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jacob Coden. Some of you have already worked with him and will understand why this person has been appointed captain of your special group. The rest will be able to see him in action very soon. I can tell you myself that his level of resistance to mental and psionic influences will amaze you. Miss Song, there's no time for the science briefing. Let's keep it simple. I'm aware of the Foundation with the increasing attacks by opponents of the Foundation due to information leaks, and a part of the reason for these leaks, a certain Detective Void steals and leaks classified information to the web. And from what I've heard, he gets away with it because of certain anomalous abilities. Yeah, it's kind of like a symbiote. 
The essence gives him anomalous powers like matter altering, teleporting when in danger, influencing the human mind, and who knows what else. The subject himself, by the way, is most likely not aware of his abilities, and either does not want or cannot contact the entity within him. The entity's motives are not clear, but the goal for both is to get to Layla Isabella Smith. Is that the one with the numbers on the forehead? Yes, the glow from the numbers is identical to the energy traces at the places where the subject uses his abilities. The same was recorded after direct contact with Mr. Smith in smile mode. After his last attack, my group is still undergoing rehabilitation. There's nothing to worry about this time. My subconscious is very resistant to all sorts of influences. This creature will have to try hard. Time is short, but I'll train you as much as I can. I think we have about two weeks. As soon as the scientists prepare the CUB, we'll start the operation immediately. Is this true? About the fact that you still managed to find out where the portal leads? There is circumstantial evidence that the entry point is somewhere in the Void of Boots, and the amount of this energy there is simply off the charts. On top of that, it's not uniform and seems to be... moving? What has taken up residence in Mr. Smith is most likely not one of a kind. Be careful. Are you going to answer the question? For the thousandth time, I am telling you, I don't know anything. Psychoactive substance number 17 doesn't work either. Tomorrow we'll try another method of interrogation. This is one of the detective's former safe houses. He thinks that if he made an appointment on his territory, then it's safer. He said that we should send a negotiator alone, without any backup. Can you imagine? Of course he was promised it would be so, but I don't think he bought it. Something's not right here. He'll be in in three hours. We don't really understand at all why he suddenly expressed the desire to negotiate. So Jacob, be on the lookout. We've taken measures. Of course, you're covered by three groups, but we won't betray our presence before he gets here. Otherwise, he'll teleport away again. Overall, this is all just nonsense. It may just turn out that we're not catching them, but rather they're catching us. If something goes wrong, activate the CUB right away. At least they won't be able to use their abilities. I know, Tony. Don't be nervous. I'm not nervous. Just in case. You will save, right, guys? Yeah. Yes, sir. Of course. Of course, Captain. Okay. Then let's wait. When Boyd arrives and we start talking, send out the first capture team. But before you enter the room, make sure the CUB is working. Over and out. Mental shield. Holy smokes, what am I gonna do? Knock knock, dude. Let me in voluntarily. I just need to find out where you're hiding a girl, or I'll have to break your entire psyche. But Simon isn't happy when we hurt someone. Yeah, fuck you! I'm sorry, Simon. We'll all have to be patient just a little.
45 minutes until the object appears. Readiness check, over. Cap, come in. Readiness check. There he is, around the corner. Captain! Hey. I thought you were taught manners on Earth. How such a small understanding got here, I don't understand. Bran, how do you know about Simon? Simon is my brother, and you look exactly like him. Well, almost like him. The human mind is a cool place, right? Here everyone sees what he wants. Were the Black Hands chasing you? Sorry, it's sort of a protection from uninvited guests. <laughs> yeah, I know everything. Relax. You're the little sister. Well, Simon's memory of her to be exact. <laughs> if nothing else, there's that which crawls out of the dark corners of his mind. I'm going to go crazy here soon, trying to get through to him. Here the memories have also begun to get at me. So... Memories? I'm not a memory at all. And who or what are you? I'm Bran. Just the coolest guy in the universe. And you're stopping me from watching this show. Foosh! What other show? Wait, stop, stop, stop. You're in my brother's head right now? Both of us are, actually. This is some kind of nonsense. It's just a nightmare. A dream of sorts. Now, I need to tell the doctor that I've got problems, not only with the numbers on my forehead, but also with frighteningly realistic dreams. Do you have numbers on your forehead? Very small, luminous ones? Are they changing every day, right? Yes. Can't you see them? You're the consciousness of the real Layla. You're alive and we have a connection. So I can find you and fix everything. Well, of course, there was no connection because of the Foundation Cormorants with their jammers. There, where they're holding you. One of the devices isn't working right now. Maybe I can find you. It's not working! Not with your brother. There's some kind of one-way connection with you. Then use your brains! Where could you be? What are they going to do to you? I have no idea. Better just tell me what you know about numbers. It's a timer, so I'm... I'm the bomb? Can you help me? I'm not just able to. I ought to help. But I need some kind of lead to figure out where you are. Maybe you noticed something. Come on, misunderstanding. Think! What kind of food do they bring? What's the weather like outside the window? What's on the badges of the scientists? Remember already, who knows when they'll fix that damn CUB. I don't know. It's cold here, breakfast was oatmeal, lunch was chicken... Does chicken matter? Everything matters. Remember more. I'm trying, okay? Also, the electricity. Over the past week, there have been several power outages. Today, too, and about ten minutes before that, a new doctor came to see me. Blue-eyed, blonde hair, what was his name? Jacob. It would be easier if you stopped resisting. I just want to help. Your sister is normal. Why are you so restless?
Listen, Armando, I'm certainly not a doctor, but it would seem to me you got some problems with your head. How can you write notes to yourself and not remember it? I'm already keeping silent about everything else strange that happens to you. Are you sure you don't need help? I don't need help. I need those files. Just pick them up instead of me. I'll shoot the address and contacts over to you. I just wanted to help. <sighs> this is nonsense. This isn't possible. I have no reason to be afraid. I remembered you. You. It's all you. I want to help. I know exactly where your sister is. I can get her out. Decided to fool me again, huh, idiot? I got tricked once and released you. And what did you do with those people? You yourself don't care about anyone but those closest to you. So why are you blaming me for this? You don't even know how many times I saved your ass, do you? A hundred souls more or less, what's the difference? Stop resisting! Give me control for just a day. And by the evening, your dear Layla will be coming out of the Foundation's front door. Yeah, she'll be walking over the red carpet, red from blood of hundreds of people, to the roar of monsters that you'll end up freeing from their cages. Tell me why you need all this, and I'll immediately go into the shadows and you can do what you want. That's what I thought. You just need full control over my mind and body. As much as I feel the way I do about the Foundation, they're right people like you should be locked up. And don't be your prison for as long as I can. It's time. Team, attention. Let's begin the operation. Is it supposed to be like that? Yeah. Off we go. You have about 15 minutes. If we finish things faster or their reinforcements show up, we'll dip out. The main thing is to do what we agreed on. The 13th one was attacked. The 7th, the 8th, and the 9th. The third one, too. I'm watching. So far, everything is going according to plan. No, neither the Rebels nor the GOC will cross over. I'll personally look after the first. No contact on the fifth for a while now. Check on what they've got over there. Let me know if Serpent's Hand or Heavy Foundation vehicles show up anywhere. They're probably ready. I agree, but in such chaos, they'll easily make a mistake. So keep your eyes open and look for a girl with numbers on her forehead. Miss Song, we're under attack. Armored vehicles are approaching us from the south. Impossible. How did they find this complex? Mother f damn it. What are their identification marks? None, ma'am. We don't know who attacked us, but reports of attacks are coming in from everywhere. Sir, this is happening everywhere. No, there are no casualties yet. They haven't crossed the outer perimeter. They're not contacting us. There are no stripes or emblems. It could be anyone. Damn, we didn't agree on that. Who gave the command to blow it up? Yes, let them take what they want, but if people die, the deal is canceled. And what about Zone 5? They still haven't answered. Hey! Hey! What's happening? It's... it's not the Foundation. Hey! Hey, let me out! Hey!
don't know, but they say they were looking for a girl. She's like a weapon or a bomb. Anyway, we didn't find her and don't really give a damn. Let's blow it all up with these Foundation assholes inside. to do with Zone 5. We didn't agree on that. Stand down! Stand down! Damn! There are people there! No. No. No map, no communication. How can I get out of here? Oh, Simon, how I miss you. You would definitely come up with something. And I am so tired, so tired. Void conspired with our enemies and staged an attack to get his sister back. The GOC, Serpent Hand, Chaos Insurgency, and other terrorists. So many valuable anomalies were destroyed and stolen. So many employees died. This is not just an attempt on the organization. This is a real war against the security of all mankind. We need to lure him out, capture him, or destroy him before- Before? Before he finds out that we have nothing to return to him. Layla Smith was held in Organ 5, and was disintegrated by an unknown weapon along the facility, personnel, and a dozen objects. That girl with the weird timer, but that's good. Not good, John. Because of Mr. Smith's attempt to rescue the girl, an entire zone has been wiped off the face of the Earth. Imagine what he would do if he found out that his sister was dead and he had nothing to lose. The problem is not the detective, but essence within him. Surely Brand needed the girl too. What if he freaks out and creates a localized apocalypse? It won't happen if they don't know. Find a double instead of the girl. Let's convince the detective and Anomaly that Layla is still alive. We need to come up with a compelling story why we don't need the girl anymore. Furthermore, we collect all the CUBs in this place, and get the detective to come there to pick up the girl. The entity will not sense the disabled devices, and as soon as the Void enters the range of the CUBs, we activate them, and the entity will not be able to use its powers. Great plan. Reliable as a Swiss watch. What if they realize it's all a scam before we turn on the equipment and the entity attacks? What to prepare for then? We don't know much about it. We've contained anomalies much worse before. As a last resort, we're in for a small world war. We were afraid that you might have been in Zone 5, but...
But you're alive. I... These are not my feelings. It was your brother who was very worried and wanted this. Simon is okay? Yes. He's worried that he killed a lot of people. And you at the same time. So, it was Simon? He attacked the complex? Yes. He wanted to get you out, but he didn't know in which zone you were being held in. He organized a group of the Foundation's enemies and dragged them off to war. I tried to warn him that this was a bad idea, but the stubborn one won't let me talk to him. Of course, everyone wanted to spit on the words of some idiot in a mask and pursued purely their own interests. Can you tell him that I'm fine? Maybe I can talk to him myself. <sighs> Are you listening to me at all? It's difficult to take control of the body, but it will not work. After the last conversation, he completely closed himself off from me and is very resistant to any of my influences. Are you okay? When you entered? Yes, everything's okay. I don't understand what's going on and why. I'm not okay because Simon isn't around and I can't even contact him. I'm not okay because I don't know what to do and I feel as helpless as one could possibly be. Just like you and Simon, but... Shit happens. You know, sometimes just being alive is enough to move on. There's plenty of time to die later. I'll try to save you both. Thanks, Bran. <laughs> oh, you remember my name. You're the only connection I have with my brother. I decided to make an exception. Cool, but we digress. I need to find you. If you're alive, then you weren't being kept at Zone 5. No, right there. But I got out shortly before the explosion. The door to the cell was damaged. I escaped and walked west for almost a day. Now I'm sitting in an old house in the forest near the river. Let's see. At first, I didn't want to talk to him for six months, but now he's with me. Humans are very strange and not well suited for symbiotic living. Imagine that the human mind is a computer, and I am a new unfamiliar device. If there are no drivers, I either do not work or work incorrectly, loading the entire system. In extreme danger, of course, I can take control or use abilities, but this is bad for the physical body, especially teleportation. Simon's temperature instantly jumps to almost 108 degrees Fahrenheit, or 42 degrees Celsius, and the brain literally gets fried. It's only been two days since the last one. I can't risk teleporting him to you. If he dies, I will die too. Then I'll try to get to you, but I don't know how yet. There's a car with no gas. It's not a problem. I came up with something. When it fires up, get in it and follow the path in the GPS. I'll help Simon find you. Okay, I hope you know what to do. The numbers! Please tell me what they're for. Do you know what happens when the countdown ends? Yes, but... I was forbidden to talk about it. I can't. Can't or don't want to? Please tell me. I'm trying to understand because I want to believe you. I want confirmation that I'm not a bomb and will not explode in the middle of the city if I go to my brother. I can't tell. But I can show you. Afraid your brain will melt? I was kept in the Foundation for a year. I won't be surprised. <laughs> You'd better be ready then. Yes, Barbara, the week did start off with strange news. Eyewitnesses continue to send videos of unusual multi-eyed animals, unnatural weather, and other unexplained phenomena. And across Europe, people are being admitted to hospitals with symptoms that are extremely reminiscent of the bubonic plague. And this is right after the COVID epidemic. Maybe the Mayans just mixed up the year at the end of the world. <laughs> What's this? Hello, Detective. 
Management has ruled that further study and containment of your sister is fruitless. A grain of anomalous energy has been extracted from her body, and Miss Smith is no longer of any interest to us. If you fulfill a series of simple requirements from Appendix 1, we're ready to let it go. Having previously erased the last year from her memory, this will lead to certain consequences, but it isn't critical for a comfortable and happy life down the road. As you know, our activities are purely for the safety of all people, including you. Our scientists agree that the entity within you is very powerful and dangerous, and its motives are not clear. We've experienced this, and believe that it was it who influenced your mind and directed your actions, including the attack. During this year, you've learned a lot about SCP objects, and, we hope, have come to understand one simple truth. Almost all of them are extremely dangerous and wish to enslave or destroy people. We hasten to remind you that more than 200 employees died during the attack on Zone 5. Unlike the families of the victims, you're lucky in that your sister was being held in a different zone. How many more must die before you finally agree to cooperate? We know that this anomalous parasite has greatly damaged your health, especially the nervous system, which is why it manipulated you so easily. We do not consider you guilty and turn a blind eye to what happened, and also offer assistance. Extraction of the essence with registration in the SCP Registry of Objects and full further rehabilitation. We managed to save your sister from this, so it will work for you. The anomaly is a danger both for you personally and for all mankind. So, we hope that you act prudently. <laughs> Remember how many times you wanted to run away? Go ahead. This is your chance. I can't take you with me. Try checking out Layla's apartment in a couple of days, okay? Sorry, Simon, but I have to do this. Blind devotion to the goal deprives people of the opportunity to look at their path from a different angle, and in the end it costs too much. I realized this after spending a year of my life chasing you, and having lost a person dear to me. But still, I want to thank you. And all that you see now is a decoy. The real Layla died in the explosion at Zone 5. I would say I sympathize with you, but I do not. I hate you and the Foundation. I wish you a pleasant mutual destruction. It's the Void of Boots. So that's where your pseudonym comes from. A reminder of home. We look different there than on our planets we visit. Some species are aware of our presence in the universe, but no one has yet been able to make contact with us of their own free will. Therefore, we're often described as the light of space and time itself. But at the same time, outside of these, absolutely everything, and absolute nothingness. My kind willingly sacrifice themselves in the endless cycle of creating the universe, so that people like you can later live short and ridiculous lives under the warmth and light of new stars. At that time, I didn't understand either the meaning or the motives. I began to have doubts and ask questions. For what? Who said that we have to cease to exist for the sake of those who will never even know about our existence? Do you know what they answered me? 
This is how we grow. Grow? But this is just a replacement. There are still 12 of you. We don't grow in numbers, but in experience. Ever heard of the Gaia Hypothesis? So, the Earth being a reasonable physiological system, a superorganism, and the source of all life. Have you seen Avatar? Do you remember the sacred Evu Tree? Souls returned to it and enriched it with life experience. We also have to do the following. We must return what we once gave in order to grow spiritually. When a civilization becomes mature enough, one of its representatives can join us and pass on all the knowledge of generations. Granted, we cannot force the candidate to accept the offer. He must understand and accept our goals, and then voluntarily give up his entire life for the sake of destiny. This is the cycle of the universe, Bran. Why don't you accept your destiny, Bran? If now I tell you to jump from the roof, so that in a million years palm trees will grow on the moon, and then monkeys will happily jump on them, would you agree? That's right. You wouldn't. Why would you suddenly do so? And for refusing, they exiled me to a distant, nasty planet, so that here I could feel human empathy, sacrifice, love, and the value of life. Nonsense. All you have here is hatred, war, and double standards. We are creatures. Real powerful ones. We own the universe itself. Why should I care about people? One of the youngest and dumbest species in the universe. On Earth, they're Santa Barbara from the very Cenozoic. I don't want to turn into another sun for people like you. Sorry, people like us? Well, since we're such miserable and worthless barbarians, why are you hanging around here? Go back and say that the experiment failed. Since there are other worlds besides this one, look there for better candidates. I can't leave the planet until time runs out. Your timer is not just numbers, but also a type of DNA driver. My people chose you and installed it so that the physical body and psyche can withstand the load. I had only to get out of the portal and get settled in. But I was prevented by these people, preoccupied with the paranormal. They slammed the door right in my face. I'm stuck somewhere in interdimensional space. Without a voice. Without a body. I have had one miserable Earth year to convince a candidate to volunteer to leave with me. Because despite our strength, we have no power over the human self. Overall, I was lucky that a carrier suitable for DNA was even found. So, I was supposed to be in Simon's place? And the numbers on my forehead are not a bomb timer, not a countdown until the end of the world, but the length of your stay here? Oh my god. I thought I was going to blow up the planet. And it's just a clock. Bran, this is great! The countdown ends in a couple of days. I will return to normal life, and you will return to your own and say that there are no worthy people among people yet. Oh, what a huge relief that is. Yes, great. But there's a problem. If before the end of the term the candidate does not agree to go with the light, we disappear. I will disappear. Such is the fate of those unable to continue the cycle. This happens sometimes. There were much more of us before. After living with your brother for a couple of months, I began to understand how you people think and interact with each other. I especially liked such a thing as blackmail. I planned to help Simon get you out, and then tell him I'd fry his brains if you didn't agree to come with me. What? <laughs> Just kidding. I understand how it sounds now. Your brother isn't any kind of saint, of course. But he is very kind. He wants to help others solve their problems. And he loves you very much, although he's embarrassed to express it. In short, people are, of course, neither here nor there overall. But I got attached to him and to you. It would be a pity if you die, because I, in fact, made all this mess, and therefore, it's up to me to clear up. Yeah, I mean, we still deserve help. This makes me happy. And then what? And then...
Wake up! Full combat readiness! Looks like the monster did come out! Don't overdo it, Captain! Let's see what it can do first! Don't panic! It doesn't mean anything yet! It's my fault. Everyone's dying because of me. Stop, Simon. Your sister's alive. They lied to you. She's dead, and I want revenge. You can still fix it. Trust me for now. I can fix this before you go too far. I don't care anymore. Stop bothering me, Bran! How can he help start the car? Had he conjured wings and a GPS for a can of gasoline and sent it to me? <sighs> Paul Meshka? I warned you that you should have done it my way. You're a bad brother. You didn't find me and got me killed. You and the Foundation deserve each other, killers. You have no one else left. Don't hold back your rage. Take revenge. Killer orders come. They told me to wake up. Him. This isn't good. Cain must be dead. Well done, Bran. You have once again proved to everyone how pathetic and useless you are. I give up. You can take my powers. Do what you want.
leadership has activated the Alpha Protocol, the antimatter bomb has already been launched, and within two minutes it'll destroy everything within a radius of three miles or five kilometers. There will be no trace left of us. Well, in that case, it was a pleasure working with you guys. Simon, stop! Stop, please! So many people have already died. This is all a huge mistake, and it was from the very beginning. Bran was exiled to live among people, and the Foundation, having bitter experience, tried to prevent possible harm from an unknown anomaly. And I just happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. I know you blame yourself for what happened to me, but you don't have to. Nor them, either. You all did what you thought was right. Simon, can you hear me? Let Bran go. He doesn't have much time. He has changed a lot and wants to help. Do you have any idea how many people are there? I'm here and I'll help you. There is no need to take revenge on anyone. Simon, wake up. Simon! He's not hearing me. Okay then. Bran, I know you're out there somewhere, so why aren't you doing anything? You gave up? Fell apart? I know you don't want to turn into a sun, but is it better to disappear without a trace? What about your mission to protect life? Do you think my brother or those people in the building want to die? This is your chance to make things right. I believe that you learned a lot from people and have changed. People always fight to the end. So show it. There's still time. I'll agree to go with you. I'm ready to risk it, not only for my brother and everyone I love, but also for you. I don't want you to disappear. So get your skinny ass up and help me stop this. Skinny. You called my ass skinny. You know, that was actually really rude. It's nice to finally meet in person. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. You've regained your strength. Your timer is gone. Um, will it still be hanging over us? Oh, no. We'll fix that right now. There's good news and bad news. Which one should I start with? <sighs> Let's go with the bad. Simon is barely alive. He's broken, and it's no longer possible to return him to this world. Here, he would just be a ball of hatred fixating on opposing the Foundation. If you want to return the brother you once knew to normal life, he must be separated from Void and sent to another world. Void stay here? And Simon to another world? But what... What about me? Can I go with him? Sorry, but no. Now it's in my power to create an alternative life for only one person. Don't worry, they'll both be fine. Especially since I will leave some light in their masks. I'm sure they'll both be able to put it to good use. I stopped the Cataclysm on Earth. People will survive. And I don't think they'll even remember this mess. <sighs> it's time for us, Young Light. But... we'll meet again, right? Who knows? It depends on them.
it, detective? Are you not feeling well? Perhaps we should stop? No, it's all right, Chris. It was just a weird nightmare I had. Have we already arrived? 15 minutes and we'll be there. 